Uh, my name is Mike West. I'm an uh, executive producer with Universal Creative here at the Universal nice. Orlando Resort. Can you talk a little about how technology has allowed you to create rides like The Simpsons? Uh, well, technology really, we look at a technology as a storytelling tool. We never like to let the technology become why we're doing something. So we want to see, we look for a story to tell, and then we look around and see what's the best technology to, to tell it. Now, in the case of the Simpsons ride, that was previously the Back to the Future ride. So that was one that we knew we wanted to update, and was a classic ride for like 20 years, but we like to provide new experiences for guests when they come to Universal Orlando. So we knew we wanted to have something to put there to, to have a new story, but we, we looked at The Simpsons as a, as a, as a story and an IP unto itself first. And then we said, okay, what do we have that would help us tell the story? And then we said, what's the story? Well, we had to say, well, let's, what if we were with The Simpsons and we're in Springfield? Well, you know, the simulator traction like that might really work well because we could immerse guests into the animated world of The Simpsons and surround them with this 85-foot screen and put them up in these simulator cars. You can really feel like you're part of the experience with the characters, which is what the ride does. So the technology allowed us to tell the story in a way that we thought would be the best guest experience, taking you, putting you with the characters in the car uh, inside the animated world of The Simpsons. What role has technology played in allowing you guys to bring Springfield to life next door? Uh, well, when we decided to expand that, uh, it, kind of the opposite, we put guests into the animated world of The Simpsons in the ride. In the case of the Springfield expansion, we wanted to reverse that and bring guests into the reality of what Springfield is, the physical reality. So, you know, we looked at obviously using CAD a lot to design the buildings and, and be able to make the changes that we had to do. We had to be very quick to be able to change because in the discussions with Matt Groening and Jim Brooks, you know, we'd have a design and there'd be some tweaks and changes to it. So the ability to make changes quickly in, in computers, you know, uh, allowed us to, to, to modify it and, and, and put the details in that would, we wouldn't have been able to do before. It would have just taken too much time and too long. So, and obviously there's, there's technology involved in, in even brewing our local beer that we turned into Duff Beer. You know, so it, it's one of those things that's almost ubiquitous. It's things you don't think about, and that's what we try to do the most. We want to hide the technology in a ride experience from the guests because we don't want them to think about the technology. So it's really a great background story element that helps us tell the story, but it doesn't draw attention to itself. Can you talk about some of the interactive elements that are here right here in Moe's Tavern? Yeah, we have. They're, they're, they're pretty basic. We have a, a, a red phone down at the end of the, the bar that uh, is a prank phone call that the, the bartenders can control a little switch. So if there's guests sitting, they can hit the phone rings and we have a little pre-recorded Bart-ism that comes across and, and Bart. Um, one of the favorite things the guests have, again, it's a relatively simple thing, but outside of uh, Quickie Mart, we have uh, a phone there. There's a little sensor that when you exit Quickie Mart, it's in the ceiling overhead and it makes the phone ring. And you go over and we have an assortment of like 15 to 20 different voices from Nelson and Bart and Grandpa, whoever, and Homer, that says a little something to you. And it's great because you watch guests and I'm not sure if they should answer the phone or not. So it's just ringing and ringing, like, yeah, they do. And then like, wow, you know, so it's that, excuse me, that little surprise element that's always fun. And outside of Moe's and Quickie Mart, just walk us through the rest of the experience here. Well, if you come up from the south side of Springfield, you enter and we have a Bumblebee Man taco truck. Now that's one that we, we created specifically for our Springfield. That's not on the show, but we wanted to have some new things that you that you come here and it's a surprise for you. So we have the Bumblebee Man taco truck. We have Android's baseball card shop on the right side as you're coming in. Then you hit Krusty Burger and then Moe's Tavern. And across the Moe's Tavern, we have uh, one of the biggest icons from Springfield, and that's Lard Lad Donuts. You have to have that. <laughs> you know, so Lard Lad has these great donuts, and we added ice cream to that. And then there's a little Springfield Park area. We have a, um, an interactive hydrant that goes off every once in a while. It's great to watch the kids, because I'm not really sure what's going to happen. But the idea is you'll see Police Chief Wiggum's car with the, with the chief out there. So the story is that he's pulled into Lard Lad to get his donut, his daily donut, but it kind of overshot the mark because he's so anxious to get there. And he passes the parking area, and he smashes into the fire hydrant, which is now squirting water all over the place. Of course, he's pictured outside. You can get your picture with him having his his uh, his large light donut, and uh, it's a great spot. We have more pictures taken there. Guests love that part. So if you come up past that, along the waterfront, we have uh, Duff Gardens, and that's a really great spot. You come in, you can sample Duff, Duff Dry, Duff Light, and a few other uh, drinks and things over there, um, and just have a really nice outdoor time. Across from that, we also have Cletus Chicken Shack. That's another new one that we that we uh, brought just for Springfield. Um, maybe we'll expand and make a chain out of it, I don't know. Uh, and then we have Duff Man and of course the seven little Duffs outside of Duff Gardens. And when you go beyond that, the Quickie Mart's been here since we opened the ride. 
but you then hit um, crusty land on the north side of Springfield. And in crusty land, we added a new element. We put in a Canyon Codas Twirl and Hurl ride, which is a great family ride that, you know, mom and dad and the kids and family, grandpa and aunts and uncles, everybody can ride together. And uh, we have Codas up on top telling you to quickly to learn how to destroy Springfield. And we have five different characters. As you hit the targets, they respond to you when you're up in the ride. So it's a lot of fun.